gets my body in motion He just, he knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another new vid and today I don't really know exactly where this vlog's gonna go to be honest so I am going to Bali in two days by the way look at the nails I just got the nails done what we're thinking I caught them for a sec then <laughs> look at them I wanted to do this for ages but I wanted to save it for an occasion and I thought Bali was one of them. But yes, as I was saying, I am going to Bali in two days. Friday today, and I am going on Monday, very first thing. However, this weekend, I haven't really got any time to pack, so I thought I'd get the majority of the packing done today, which is very early in advance for me. Usually I'm doing these packing vids literally like a few hours before we fly, <laughs> which is actually also quite a stress then, as you may have seen in the packing video before Jamaica, I was a little bit on edge. I am feeling a little bit on edge already, to be honest. I've got quite a lot of anxious butterfly feelings due to the travel, but also due to other things in life that are going on, on at the moment. We're just very hectic in the household. Aren't we, Bloob? Blue? <laughs> Zero comment. It's a bit hectic, but we're gonna have a lovely holiday. I'm very excited to go back to Bali. I went to Bali last year, brought you guys along if you were here back then and had the best time and I loved sharing it and I think you guys really liked seeing the Bali vlogs too so I'm really excited to get creating in Bali. We're actually going for quite a bit longer this year so I'm very much looking forward to it but I am going to start packing with you. I'm not going to ramble on too much, we're just going to pack for now. Tomorrow as well my best friend Bryony is coming up for the night so we're going to just have like a girly day. We're going to go shopping in the morn so maybe I'll have a look. It was her idea to shop but I'll just have a little peek. If there's any last minute bits, you know. I have got some new bits actually I want to show you today as well, which I've picked up for Bali, which I'm very excited to show you because they are so nice. So nice, trust me. And I think we'll probably just go for some drinks then. Maybe we'll have some day drinks because I think it's going to be quite nice weather this, uh, this weekend. This week has been the rainiest week of rainy weeks. It's literally been horrific. Bluebee's been sulking inside. We went for a walk today. She came with me on my nail appointment. <laughs> She's always coming with me on my beauty appointments. It's not been the best week, but the sun's out now. It's it's lovely and bright. Look at that. You can't see really. 6 p.m. bright. Anyway, don't know what the point in that was. But let's get started on the clothing. So I've just put out some of the swimwear I'm gonna actually should we start with some of the new stuff let's start with some new stuff so here we have some new swimwear bits so I've very kindly been gifted a few bits which I really wanted to show you I did also buy this one from misguided to be honest you're not really gonna get a feel off this is the only thing when I got it the thing is, online it looked so cool, and it's really monochrome for me, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> look at the rest of my swimwear. Just wanted to have one back to basics, and um, I saw this on Misguided. I just thought it was really cool and quite chic. On it's really nice. Off it looks a bit weird, but on it is very nice. Maybe I'll show you afterwards quickly. And then also Toko Swim. So I always rave on about Toko Swim if you know me. They are a UK brand that is quite new actually. I feel like they're very underrated still, so this is some of their new collection. But Toko Swim is just so nice, honestly. It's just like the nicest material. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the butteriness to this? They're so comfortable and soft, yet flattering and just really high quality. Love them, absolutely love them. So we've got that bikini, and then we've also got this swimsuit, and they've never done swimsuits before, so I'm intrigued to try this one. I think this is like in, yeah, it's a navy, isn't it? I thought it was black for a minute. I think they said to me you can do different things with the back. I mean, you can't really tell what's going on when it's off, but I'll show you at some point. Maybe I'll show you in Bali. I don't think I'm gonna do like a, a swimwear try on as such in this vid, I'm not sure. And they have, which I thought was so cute, released hairbands to match the um, bikinis. How cute is that? I don't know if you saw me wearing the this one, which is another new one in Jamaica. Now I can wear a hairband with it. There she is, <laughs> she's waiting. There's your hairband, love. Also, how cute are these. Lovely girl on Instagram actually messaged me saying if I wanted to try any of her bikinis because she's got this brand called CheekySwim.com. The Instagram is there too, CheekySwim. 
and look what they do. We've got a watermelon bikini. So look at that. Oh, I've done it upside down. <laughs> Sick. There we go. So there's the top, and then there's the bottom, and we have a scrunchie. Oh my god, I'm literally obsessed. I am obsessed. Imagine eating watermelons dressed as a watermelon. <laughs> absolutely love and also they don't all just have you know these funky ones they do have some other funky ones too though but i just love the donuts and the watermelon they do have some more you know chilled out ones if you're not into this <laughs> but also we have a donut one with a sprinkles bottom oh my god i'm obsessed and a donut scrunchie now that's just life in a scrunchie isn't it i'm obsessed i literally love these this is an australian brand though i think toko is a uk one i think their office is just down the road from me actually how cute thank you so much cheeky swim and toko obsessed gonna wear them in bali with my coconuts that is literally one of the biggest thing i'm just so excited about i fell in love last year with drinking out coconut well drinking coconuts and i thought they were going to be in jamaica but they weren't very sad but you know not the end of the world can't wait to be reunited with my coconuts in bali and i'm definitely going to vlog my first <laughs> one back loving so yeah those are some of the new oh actually one more which is a bit of a special one so i saw this on house of cb and i could not resist so this is a very pink swimsuit and actually the fit of it is insane so i did show you in my last video these are some of my other ones i'm taking so i'm not going to run through everything but um i'm going to take these with me as well these are some of my old ones this is a toko one as well and we've got this toko one here too and then oh this one's toko as well i love that one this one is white fox swim oh polly oh polly <laughs> zaffle boohoo asos <laughs> And this one actually I found in my, I think it was from my PO box, from this brand, Katomi Swim. And I literally forgot that they'd sent it. How gorgeous is that? Love it. But then also these swimsuits. But what I was going to say, this pink one's very similar to this black one I've got that I bought from ASOS last year. And they have like a waistband, so they just literally make you feel absolutely a film star. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying then, but I will show you this one and this one on. Yeah, I think I'll just show you those two because I don't want to do a, a bikini haul again. <laughs> I've done a few now, so I think I'll just show you these two on after we've packed most of the stuff because this is exceptional. It's a little bit pricey, I have to say, but House of CB is absolutely fabulous. Actually, before we move on to the other clothes, let me just show you. Let me pop you here, actually, so we can talk face to face. These are the other bits that I picked up for my haul. And what made me think is because I also got this dress from House of CB. Now look at this. Actually, I don't think you can even tell. It's not doing it justice. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I am an extra small in House of CB, by the way. If you do go to have a look at any of the House of CB stuff, it's quite expensive. It's like in between designer and high street, I'd say. Their fitting is quite big. So I'm an extra small in all of their stuff. I actually ordered this in a small and had to swap it back. So that's just something I'd say. I think I'll show you this on too, because it's lovely. Oh, actually, so I went on AYM. Has anybody seen this brand on Insta? I actually think it used to be called Boom Boom The Label. <laughs> I literally love that name so much and I'm so sad that they, they changed it. Boom Boom just reminds me of like a little baby on, on a Disney film and not on Despicable Me. Just did a boom boom. Where he goes boom boom. I can't remember. I can't remember. I swear he just poops or something. It's all this dress. It's a, just a little boob tubey. And it's in like a neon orange. Again, the material is absolutely gorge. So this material is quite similar to the Toko Swim material. It's just really soft, stretchy, and just feels really high end. Again, these are a little bit more pricey. Not quite as much as House of CB, but a tiny bit more because they are handmade. Thought that was lovely. This is an extra small as well. And also, I wanted to try this little neon pink top as well from AYM. Lovely. And I think I might actually pair it with these cycling shorts. Started wearing cycling shorts. Never worn them, tried them, loved them. Then also I picked up this throwover from Misguided. So it's just a bit of a shimmery gold one. 
so we can just kind of pop it on over a bikini because I think we're going to go to a few beach clubs in Bali because we're actually staying we're staying in Ubud the jungly bit which is my absolute favorite and we're also then going down to Uluwati which is the beachy bit which we didn't do last year so I'm excited for that and I think we're going to go to some beach clubs so I'm going to be showing off my shimmer and also this little pretty little thing top I picked up because I really like the colour it's not going to really make do it justice off at all but it's just like a tie up but I just like the colour I don't know yeah those are just some of the new bits I picked up for Harley just over time I've just been you know mooching about saw House of CB House of CB is absolutely lovely so other than that I'm not going to run through all my clothes because well, you've seen them a few times now but this is just some stuff that I've put aside. So we've got some dresses. This is a bit of a beach throw over rainbow one again. You might remember that one. We've got another sort of shimmery beachy dress. This little mini dress, which I took to, where did I take it to? The Maldives, which is really nice. And then we're going to take this one again too, which actually I was so shocked about. So I wore this in Jamaica. It was in my week of outfits in Jamaica video. And I really thought they wouldn't sell it anymore because I bought it over a year ago. But they still have it on Pretty Little Thing. And then we've got this beach throw over, which lots of you guys do say you like quite often when I wear it. Which is from Pretty Little Thing. But I think that won't be still on there. But if I can find it, I'll link it. But I doubt it. And then over here we've got some tops, some shorts, I'm taking that cord Niall got me in that video. Oh Polly, some other tops, little crop tops, bodies, very bright. And then leading into the bedroom, <laughs> we have a few other bits. So here's my tops I'm taking, mainly little crop tops and then some trousers. Does anyone remember these? Because I do and I haven't worn them in absolute age. I can't even tell what they are when they're off but they're those pretty little thing trousers which everybody kind of wore last year. Do you remember? Don't know. I feel like they still sell them so if they do <laughs> I'll pop them up. And then we've got some gym bits so oh look these are the leggings that I cropped in my last video if you saw it. So I made these into shorts from the leggings and I think they're rather nice and actually I think I'm going to I never actually cropped these when I said I was going to, so I'm going to crop them in a minute. I just really like gym shorts, and I feel like when you crop them from a legging, they always fit a bit nicer. I don't know. So yes, I'm so out of breath. So out of breath. Oh, we also have some heels down here, and I haven't really sorted out the rest of the shoes, but let's do the leggings, and then I'll show you those other bits, and then, I don't know, I might pick you back up tomorrow then, to be honest, because... I don't want to repeat too much of what I did in my my other packing video and you know you might think it's a bit too similar. Basically all you've got to do to crop your leggings, if you want to do it, what I do to make sure they're even on both sides, so I fold them, basically all I'm going to do is sort of guess from the crotch how long I want them on my leg and I think it's always better to go a bit longer anyway so I'll probably just mark about there I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll, we'll mark there, tilt you down so you can watch. <laughs> so I'm just marking. I am going to pack all these clothes into the suitcase in a sec, don't worry. <laughs> it looks like an absolute tip in here. So we're going to trot across, hope for the best. And they usually do just turn out fine, so not too shabby. I'll show you them on as well. Ooh, oh, come on then. Let's go. Keep going, love. It's so hard to find nice gym shorts these days. So why not, with leggings you don't really wear, make your own. And there we have some lovely gym shorts, homemade. <laughs> I think it really works, because what happens is when you put them on, they kind of roll up like that, so they don't look jaggedy, which was my initial worry because of the material, but it works. So I highly recommend, if you're wanting some more gym shorts and you have some leggings oh, that you don't really love, make them into a short. But well, here is... The House of CB dress, and I absolutely love it. I just think it's so cute and just, I don't know, it's just one of those simple dresses that just looks really nice. I love this cupped top on, on tops and on dresses. I just think it's really nice and delicate. Balcony, isn't it? I think that's what you call it. But yeah, I can't actually fully do this up, by the way, because I need Niall, but he's not here to do up the back, but loving. So, this is the House of CB swimsuit. How insane is this colour? I'm literally obsessed. I think it's just absolutely 
<laughs> stop saying absolutely. I think it is just lovely. What we're thinking, do we love it? Do we hate it? I love it. They did also have it in black, I think. I think they actually have it in orange now, which I'm a bit sad about, but I still think I would have gone with this kind of like Barbie pink. I think it's absolutely glorious. Do we like it? And this waistband is just so nice. It's just one of those swimsuits that makes you feel really good about life. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try the bikini now. And then finally, this is the bikini. And I just feel like it's, I don't know, it's kind of, it's quite old school, this bikini, the way it's designed, especially the bottoms, but I feel like it's nice just to take it back nice and simple sometimes. But yeah, that's all really I have to say about it, but I think it's really nice. And this one's from Misguided. I will make sure I link all of those four things I just showed you in the description box. So if you know me, you know about my travel collection that I take everywhere whenever I travel. And it's a little bit excessive, but as I said, I am a little bit of a nervous traveller. And actually, Bali is a really long trip from here. So it's about a 13-hour flight and then another three-hour flight or something like that. So it's a bit hectic. <laughs> And um, I just get a little bit nervous on flights. So I like to prepare myself, not just for the flight though, actually for when I'm there too. So last year I did buy a ton of things just in case I got ill because there is a lot of word of people getting ill from the food in Bali, which didn't happen to me last year, but it's good to be safe. <laughs> Better be safe than sorry, as my mum would say. So I've got lots of like diarrhea prevention, not prevention, but helping thing if that happens which is lovely got two of them got some paracetamol because of my really bad headaches on um landing which did happen in jamaica which was really annoying it only happened on the way there it didn't happen on the way back someone actually wrote in my last pack of video saying they have the same thing where when you're landing it's literally horrendous it's like popping pains through your head that go down your neck and literally like it's the weirdest thing i don't know why i formed it when i was a bit older but sometimes it happens when i land so i'll well, paracetamol for that and actually that girl did say to me to take sudafed for a few days before and i forgot again which is fabulous but <laughs> yes that's why we've got paracetamol got some hairspray some actually that's a bit finished to be honest but we've got some dry shampoo bug spray all my sun creams my shimmer sun spray my oil i think we're gonna get another sun cream as well because this one's running low we've got some of my refreshing spray actually i have to say i'm a little bit excited because i did just find my nintendo ds <laughs> i actually bought this last year because i was really nervous cause it, when we were going to bali because it was like my first long haul flight so I actually bought myself a Nintendo and um, I actually completely forgot, so I'm very excited. We've got Mario Kart, we've got, what do we have, Sims Castaway, Brain Training, who else loved this when they were younger? Because I did, obsessed. I don't want, really want to see what I would be now, but I'm actually going to charge this up and have a play tonight, I think. But I just think it's, even like, do you know what I was thinking? It's a really nice thing to do even when you're at home and you want to switch off your brain. Because I was thinking the other day, I really miss playing games. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to play loads of games. Like, did anyone, and I would love to know if anybody played this, when they were quite young though, I used to play on my computer with my dad, Zumbinis. Did anyone else play that? Because i remember like last year when i had this urge to get to play games again i tried to find it online like to try and download it or something but it's just nowhere to be seen and i think even when you search it it doesn't really show much but zoom beanies was the best loved it and i loved um playmobil and i loved sims sims was just a bit of me so that's why i got sims 2 castaway because i loved that on the playstation if mine and niall's house goes through and um when we when we're all settled in we're going to buy a games console, but I've said to now only one where I can get cute games like The Sims. Because I just, I feel like Xboxes is all like shooting games. And actually, do you know what else I like to play though? Grand Theft Auto. And it was really funny. I'd like 
play it all wrong so I'd literally get in a car and drive like a normal person like I really wanted to like stop at the traffic lights <laughs> which is not Grand Theft Auto if you know it and I loved it yeah fun fact we the we I love as well the Wii is such a good one I actually would love to play the Nintendo Switch Wii is that I think that's the new one isn't it just charging up my Nintendo I'm getting a little bit of a vibe <laughs> I'll let you know how I go if I um when it's charged. But yeah, I think I'm gonna take that with me for entertainment on the plane. And I might download some of the new Black Mirrors because I've only watched one, so I think I'll do that. And yeah, those are just my bits. And then I've also got my flight socks. Very important, don't forget your flight socks, guys. And then this is my little bag I actually take on the plane. So we've got face masks, polos to suck when I land, tissues, um, face wash, mouth wash, all that jazz. Um, Look what's just arrived. Are you jealous? He's Don't so jealous. I can't. Can you help me? Don't get me started. Smell it. So I just ordered myself a chicken burger, a barbecue one from Bodine's, and some sweet potato fries. I didn't realise there was going to be chips as well. Do you want the chips? Let me just say something, right? Come on then. How many times have I asked for us to get Bodine's takeaway? <laughs> Bodine's is like a meat place that does like. Burgers, ribs. Mm, that one tasted weird. Really nice steaks, you know, like I always one of those no. types of places. And I always want to get a takeaway from there, and you always say no. Excuse me. No payback. And Niall's having some kale. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I do like food, that food too, but I just felt like treating myself tonight. So I'm gonna have this. Watch some Love Island. I'm actually growing on Tommy as well. I think in the yeah, last... He had a good episode last night, didn't he? Yeah, I like him, actually. At first, I didn't... I wasn't sure. Emma May was yeah. Emma May. It's Molly May. Molly May. <laughs> Tommy is growing on me. I think he's quite funny. So, yes. I'm going to eat this. Watch some Love Island. Cuddle Blue Bee. Come here. Blue. Blue Bell, come here. Oh, no, 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 no. And I'll see you in a bit. Right. It's charged. And I'm going to show Niall and see his reaction. <laughs> I think he's going to be not amused. Now look what I found today. <laughs> We're waiting for it to charge. I saw that. Did, oh, did you see it charging? I saw it. I like, mm, I'm going to play it. No, for now. I'm going to play. What? We've got Sims 2 Castaway. We've got Mario Kart, Brain Training. I bought and you Sims for your laptop and you played it once on Christmas Day and never again. I like games, sometimes. Can you not this? Look at him. You can't see, it's just a light. What is, I actually did want to do this. It. show it. Does it like, you got does it test your intelligence? Yeah. Wow. Wait, I'm going to see what mine is. Right, daily training. I think I tried it once, so it was a little bit too easy for me, actually. <laughs> Libby, Keza, Rosie and Rita. What the heck, who are those people? Rita, I can't say that. Yeah, I know you can't say that. They're not mine. Oh, go on, Keza. I actually don't know who, I, they bought this second hand. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. That's like the start of a horror movie. No, don't oh that. no! I start a new one. I don't want if loads of weird things start happening in our life, we know it's down to that DS. Well, I didn't. I didn't write retard, so. Get it out of the house. Okay. Oh, it's like quick thinking. This. And can they see what I'm doing? Can um, not really. Tap on the screen, and then it all go into their focus. Let's begin. The graphics look so bad, even okay. for that. Ooh, I remember this countdown. So tense. Blue, red. Oh my god, it can hear me. Red. What? Uh, what do you have to do? I don't know. I need to start again. Oh, you need to know what the rules of the game are. Yellow. Blue. 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 Oh, so you got to say what it says. Black. Blue. What? Yellow. Blue. Blue. I don't think he understands how I say blue. Blue Bell's so confused. Like, What's Black. going on? Why is everyone saying my name? Black. Blue. Yellow. Oh, red. Red. Oh, you yeah. baby. How's your vagina? Red. Don't. <laughs> Blue. How is Red. it? Is it still big? Yellow. No! What? You can't say that. I don't know what you're on about. She's in season. What, what do you think what I'm on about? He's in his 80s. Yeah, well, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> That's just because it wouldn't understand. 
me. This is my favourite part of the day. And a very loud TV programme. Shush. Chernobyl. Shush, I wanted to go do a cute moment. With a very shiny, skin carefied face. <laughs> it's too loud. Call me up. Oh, look, she looks so content. Oh, that little lick. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's now day two, and I have a special guest with me. It's my fave. It's Bri. <laughs> She's amazed because we're crystal <laughs> She's amazed because we're in Westfield at the moment, which is a very large shopping centre in London. She's a little old Welshy. So we've come here for the day just for like a nice girly day. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping. I don't really have anything in particular that I want, but we're just gonna have a little mooch. You just mooch in as well. Yeah. Actually you want an outfit, don't you? Well, maybe a... like get something a little bit summery. Garden party, yes. Love that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're currently in the designer section, which isn't so much us. So we're going to try and find the more high street, I think. <laughs> um, I'm so tapping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do like the odd designer, I'm just not massive on it. But yeah, we just thought we'd come here. I've got chewing gum in, in which is the worst thing when you're vlogging because it's just so ugly. But we thought we'd come here, have a little look. And then we're going to have lots of drinks, aren't we, Bri? Yes. Cocktails, Long Islands, yeah. ice Long teams. Islands? Oh, wait, there's a thing. I don't really, I don't really drink them. Porn star martinis, oh. Love a porn star. <laughs> oh, Bri's just getting very excited about there's everything a, around him. a Tilbury shop. <laughs> Not just a little stall in Debenham. This is the greatest foundation of foundations. My camera won't focus on it. Oh, there we go. That's the best foundation you need in your life. Currently trying to have a look for um, the gold bar palette. Can't find it though, can we? Oh, that gold stuff, no. But this is There's like a little for anyone who bar. likes a little bit of highlighter. This. Bri is very good at makeup. Let me just look at her face. No, don't look at my face. <laughs> don't look at my face. Show us your eyes. They look so... There you go. You can just shut your eyes here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need you. <laughs> MUA will be a... Bri is very good at makeup. How cute are these earrings? This was me when I was about six. <laughs> there are you now. Can't Rainbow poop. Rainbow poop, sun glasses poop. <laughs> Pink poop. <laughs> so cute. But see, if I wore these now, I'd look really strange. What do you think? But in your ear, they just, I loved these spiky ones, actually. Yeah, I did as well. These were so rocky weird. though, Megan. And dice. I oh, no. had dices. Dices. Dice. They're cute as well, those donuts. Very Claire's by the way. Shell. Oh my god, they look so good. Do they not go back fully? I can't put them on. Put them on, love. A little security thing. Literally, you should see me in cat cat oh, eye glasses. It's an absolute fail. Wait, wait, leave yours on. I'm gonna wear the same. I don't think they go on, they look too bad. Did they actually see you? Oh my god, Brian, we need to get them. Should we actually? No, I wouldn't. Oh no. Them. I actually might get them. I think they suit me. No. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> Guys, if you need a Disney top, Zara is your gal. They've got such nice acidy tone Disney tops here at the moment. I don't know if you've seen my Princess Squad one, which is from here, but they've got some new ones. Look at this little rabbit from Alice in Wonderland and this one. Their Disney tops are so good here. Oh, Aladdin. They actually feel quite nice. Yeah, well. that's what I was saying. My battery's <laughs> gonna die really soon. But please just say what you just said. I really like this Disney top with Sebastian from Little Mermaid. I think it looks like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because I just suddenly saw it. <laughs> it does, I'm gonna leave him. Right, we're resorting to the phone because the camera has run out of battery and I had to show you the PJs in Primark. Primark. Me and Bryce say Primark, but everybody it's says it's, it's Primark. Primark, isn't it? Look at, look, I actually really like the trouser versions as well. How cool are they? Yeah, you need bloody boiling them though. I'm gonna have them. No, but for, for home, oh. I want these to take to Bali. How cute is that look, little JD? What's his name again, the monkey? Um, um oh, Ron. Ron. <laughs> I don't know. Ron? Ron? Oh, um, you haven't seen Apu? the... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Apu. Apu. Is it Apu or Abu? Abu. Abu. <laughs> Apu. <laughs> right, we're currently in the underwear section. Bryce trying to find a bralette. <laughs> we were just discussing when we were younger, our first time at like buying sexy underwear. 
Oh, are you filming this? This is a bit <laughs> We'll intimate. find sexy underwear oh, in no, peacocks. You're not telling them about it. Did we ever use them? No, I think mine was actually We did. Fun. We did use them on the same night in my house. Not together. Yes, it was together. <laughs> I remember those days very well and literally Mine was from TK Maxx Oh was it? I think mine was Peacock's, mine looked like that Right, we've come to some food It smells And some cocktails Having breakfast at 5pm <laughs> Bryce got some fish, egg and what else is that? So it's called, it's called Pedgery, I've never had it before And I didn't know what to expect but Where's your fish? It's in there I think is That's that, what, that, is that egg and egg? Oh, rice. There's rice. rice. In there too. I've never had it before, but when it looks. It actually smells nice. Coxy cocktails. It's two for one happy hour, so we're going in. It looks like a porridge tree, you know? It looks. I think it'll be nice. And I got beans. We'll give it a try. Oh, lovely. Feeling a little bit tipsy, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> but quite a lot of cocktails in happy so hour. <laughs> what do you say? I look so weird sat I'm like I'm creeping on you. I'm like There's a creeper in the background. <laughs> Thought before we head out and have more drinks, we're going to meet um Niall's friend Carl, aren't we? And um, I thought before we do that, I'd show you some of the bits we picked up. Are you going to show us yours too, bro? Oh, go on then. Oh, well, Ryan's going to give us a fashion show. Right, so first up, I got an inflatable flounder <laughs> because I thought it would be nice to take to Bali. It was it was one of them when you're waiting in the queue to pay. They always get you, don't they? Oh, to be fair, though, I did convince you for that one. That was yeah, like I thought it was cute because we're going to be in the pool. And I also picked up the Aladdin PJs and then I picked up the trousers as well because I thought they'd be nice for like the less hot eaves. And I also picked up the, where are they? I did get the shorts, but if you are going to go for these shorts in Primark, they are quite tight. So I went for a size 10. Usually I'm a size 8, but they're a little bit tight. Oh, I actually picked up this beach throw, which I saw last minute. It, yeah, go on then, bye. So this one's just a really nice kind of bright orange and I just thought it'd be nice to chuck on over a bikini. Really comfy, isn't it? And then also these 90p flip-flops. Thought they were a bit of me. Look at the colour. There was a Lululemon sale on. So I picked up this sports bra. I love this style. I can't remember what it's called. Free to be bra. Wild. This in a few colours and I've never seen this colour so I thought I'd go for that one on sale. And then finally... The best one of the day. This was at the beginning. I found this gold gasm <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> highlighter. It's actually so nice. Wait, I'm gonna have to open it to show you. And also some toe rings, just so I show you these first before I open from Claire's. So we went into Claire's. I got these ones to stack on my toe. And also a starfish toe ring. So I'm gonna pop these on for Bali. I don't know which toe it is. But... I don't know. I just have to hope for the best if it's on one. <laughs> Wait, can you hold that, Bryce? So I just show them how the oh, it's so looks. nice. Literally love it. This is one of their new beauty light ones. I've got it in the highlight color. I can't remember what it's called. But they've give it a squidge. They've made some new colors that are more sort of goldy. I don't know if you can see yeah, it. That's oh, that's better. better. Light. So, so if you see this, oh. I've just used up loads. <laughs> I should have done that. Oh dear. But um, it's just like a really nice yeah, sort lovely. of bronzy. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it actually. Yeah, there we are. So it's a really nice goldy bronze and I thought it would be nice on holiday. said it looks more like a natural shimmer than it does with a powder highlight, just in case anyone cares. Dewy. Dewy. <laughs> dewy. Love I like your dewy. skin. Did you say dew? Dewy. 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 Dewy? You dewy? said dewy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Bri's going to give us a quick, oh, come on, I'll quick give show. You a come on then. I feel like this one's a bit of a weird one. No, I like this. this one. So not... Bri was on the hunt for a outfit for a garden party, weren't you? I'm not much of a fashion hauler, I don't know how this goes. So um, <laughs> this one this one is, I um, don't know if it's a skirt or a, a dress, that's what Yeah, so you, you can't really see off, but it's short. And then you've also got this long skirt that kind of is like bam. It's a bit of a Probably shock get, one, isn't it? We get savaged for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, What's that? <laughs> um, so no, it looks that. really nice on. This is is a favourite that I saw somebody wearing on Instagram. I thought, Can I go Did you? Spotty dress? long wrap dress. Lovely. Very bright. I got this. I feel a bit weird showing this one. Kind of 
<laughs> She's got some undies. It's, it's a bralette, okay? Like, it is a bralette. It's to go under your nice top, so though, isn't it? I'm just going to wear this out. I know some of you will like that, you know? That's fine, each to their own. Probably wears it under this. this. This is really nice, though, that it's print. It's a bit of a weird one, though, isn't it? Like, it's like a top, but it's... Um, it's a tie-up top. And it's got these funky sleeves, which I was very much a fan of. Yeah, they're really nice. Which is a bit weird. From Primark, £12. Everybody's going to be hating the way we're saying Primark. Primark, fine. Um, Primark. And I bought a shoe, which I never buy shoes. And these were twelve pounds. Where I couldn't believe that. Where <laughs> I went all out today. Pretty big feet though, so um. It was yeah, they good. didn't have many size eights, did they? Oh, really oh like sorry, it. sorry. Like I'm a six. I'm not far behind. He's officially found Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think I might end this video here because we are going to head out. We're actually going to have some gins with Niall now. And Niall's friends come around, Carl. Love Carl. Um, so we're going to head out again, I think. And we're going to take Blue and go for some more drinks. And I'm going to get into some more, less sort of chill jumper attire, I think. But it's just looking fabulous always, so she's fine. so weird from that angle. Of that <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you in Bali. I look so flustered. <laughs> look how pink I look. Drunk is the word. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk and chinified. Mango longified. <laughs>